Okay, so I said I'd demo the demo the ACLs. So uh, basically, I've created a standard ACL numbered one, and so it's pretty simple. I'm going to deny this host from accessing a network, but anyone else. And so this is going to be S000 on the way in. So it's actually from the uh, the rest of the world, I suppose you could say, um, inbound. And so that's what we'll do with that. The next one will be, I'll, I'm doing a named one on the other router. And so it's IP list, IP access list standard other. I'm just calling it other. Um, now here I'm denying an entire subnet. And, but anyone else can. And I'm doing an outbound on the gigabit. And so that's just basically denying one subnet's worth of users accessing a different subnet. Now, I have done an extended access list that I'm going to apply to R1. And so you'll notice here, it's access list 100, so it's extended. Permit. Now I've defined the protocol to be TCP. Now the source is a host. And so this is actually a web server I've got. And that, did I put EG? Is that a hmm. typo? EQ. Um, and so port 80. That will be allowed to any to any destination. Everyone else will be everyone else will be denied. And so that's going to going to a LAN. And I'm doing another named I'm doing an ex, named extended access list on R three. And so. Basically, it's called web, funnily enough. And so, basically, the source can be any inbound host to this, which is the web server. And so, I'm permitting a destination port numbers of 443 and 80, denying everything else. And so, basically, that subnet is there just for that web server. And so, again, that's to the uh, gigabit interface outbound and now I've, I've also done, basically done the exact same access list but for IPv6 so it's IPv6 access list web 6 and any source that's the IPv6 address of the web server that, that is slash 128 so that's that host only port 80 Port 443. Oh, that should probably be IPv6. Bad habits. Might have to say that. I will update the file on the on Cisco because I've done a few uh, edits already. So that's that's uh, what we're going to do. So. Um, I'll just swap windows. So this is it. So this is router one. This is router three. Serial links between them. You can see the network addressing on there. This is the web server. These are other subnets with other hosts. Now, I'll just quickly um, do some testing. So I don't have to type in an IPv6 address. I'll just test that it's all got connectivity. I think I, I think I got a rip running on the <clears throat> on the network, so that host can talk to the web server. Oh, typos! That's the IPv4 address for the web server. Art request. 
So we have connectivity. That one can talk to it. That one can talk to it. So we've we've got full connectivity. So let's bring up router one. Get the file going again. Oh god, I hate Windows. So I'll just paste the config in. No errors. So let's do a show run, see how that's stuck. So that's applied to S000, isn't it? So you can see access group 10 in. And then somewhere after RIP is where the uh, access lists are listed. And so that's pretty much as I typed it in. Okay, so what are we doing? We're denying host 3010 from being able to ping this network. So let's try that out. So this is host 3010 here. So we're getting back a message from the router saying that that destination host is unreachable. So the other subnet is subnet 11. We're also getting the same. But of course, if we ping the server, we can still talk to the server. So basically, we've made that host an unhappy host. So this host can't talk to these subnets. Yeah, router three. Now we're doing a named ACL for this one. So show run. See how that's stuck? So we did this on G00. And so IP access group other outbound. And so we're denying the entire subnet. So what we can do ping 192.168.30.10 probably should fail and it did but if I send it to the server it should succeed and it does so the access list is basically blocking that What I haven't done is show access lists. And you can see now that it tells us how many matches we've had for these and how many matches we've had for the permit any. So um, as I said, gives you good information on that. Very good for your fault finding. You can actually clear the counters if you like. If you if you change this, the access list and you want to try it out again, you can actually clear counters and then try it and then you can actually get a, an updated, you know, starting from zero again, basically. Now, 
What did we do? No, we haven't. We haven't applied this next one, have we? No. So we're applying the numbered access list. Show run. So we're applying this to G00. And so IP access group 100 out. And we've got the access list here. So what are we doing? We're permitting the web servers return traffic basically, but denying everything else. So basically I should be able to browse to the web server. 192.168.1.1. Typo. Dot thirty one dot ten, and I should get the web page. Bully for me. Um, but now my ping probably won't work. So it's the same address as the previous ping, so it did work before. It's only an access list that's broken it, and so of course it's, it's the access list we just applied. And so the last IPv4 access list I'm applying is the named one. Oops. What have I done? Hmm. Mistake. Actually had that in there and I took it out. Q. Using a mouse too long. EQ. Ready? Still show access lists. And so the access list is called web. Ouch. There we go for there's where the problems come. Because I got errors on these the first two times, that's the only line that got in. Now I've added them. So it's in the wrong order. That's that access list will not work. In too much of a hurry. Anyway, so
Okay, so I've deleted line 10. I'm adding a line 40. That should be better. That's how it should have looked. Now what that's done, is any source machine can connect to either port 80 or port 443, nothing else will get through. So of course this is the web server down there, which is off the screen. So now, so it's to this web server. So let's try it on this machine. Works when you get it right. That one can. That one can, so we can get to the web server. But I should not be able to ping it. Host unreachable. And it did work before. Now, the last angle I was going to apply was the IPv6. And so basically it was the same ACL as the previous one, but with, of course, the IPv6 stuff. So the previous one was called Web. This one will be called Web 6 because, again, I'm not very imaginative. <coughs> oh, you idiot. What did I do wrong? It's an IPv6 traffic filter, isn't it? run and I'll have to apply I've just stomped all over the IPv4 because it's treating that as an IPv4 one so Yes, you've got to watch yourself. <coughs> Let's see that now. So there's IP access group web out and there's IPv6 traffic filter web six out. So, let's try web browsing, oops, actually, because I've copied and pasted ping, I'll do a ping first. 
ping doesn't work because it's not a web. So hopefully web will work. And it does. Look at that. So I'm going to say you've got to get your logic right. You've got to have your head around it. You've got to plan it. I've got to admit I did some of that a bit on the fly and a bit too much copy and paste. But anyway, um, we did get it working in the end. I will put an updated version of that file on the on the uh, on the Cisco server. But yeah, so that's that's the basics behind the the access control lists. And so <coughs> takes a bit of getting your head around it, but you know, packet tracer. There's no easier way to try these things. Even if you scrap that chapter four demo file that I've got there and try doing your own stuff. I don't know if you've ever played with the servers, the servers on uh, on Packet Tracer, but there's a whole pile of services you can run. And so if you turn those services on, and then start permitting and denying, or you know, get them all on, work, make sure they all work without any access control lists, and then start applying access control list entries to start blocking things as you want. This is the perfect way to do it. You know, it's so much easier than physical machines. So it's be, it'll be a great way to try these things out. All right, that's, that'll be enough for that demo. Uh,